What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Scream 6 in this video primarily today. We're also going to talk about this very exciting news that came out regarding the future of the I Know What You Did Last Summer series. Deadline, I'll kick it off with I Know What You Did Last Summer just to get it out of the way. Deadline reported today that an I Know What You Did Last Summer legacy sequel is in the works following the successful relaunch of Scream. Sony Pictures is looking to blow new life into its own slasher franchise as sources tell deadline that jennifer Caden robinson has been tapped to direct and i know what you did last summer sequel with jennifer love hewitt and freddie prince jr in talks to reprise their roles insiders say that the project is still early in development and that neil h moritz is in talk to return as producer with Lay McKendrick on board to write the script. While McKendrick is pinning the pick, the idea for the new film came from Robinson and McKendrick, who blew studio execs away when they pitched this idea for a sequel last fall, especially given the recent success of the Scream franchise. The studio also saw it important to not reboot the franchise, but do a sort of passing of the torch type of sequel where original cast members are brought back while a new generation cast members are added to the ensemble, similar to films like Creed or other or another 90s horror classic scream once the idea was pitched by robinson and mckendrick the next step was getting hewitt and prince back on board which the two were game for after hearing the pitch i sincerely just cannot tell you how happy this report made me because for the longest time after that third movie i said please do not touch this again unless you do something like what it seems this upcoming leg legacy sequel will become i'm very intrigued to see how this comes to life Please get Sarah Michelle, Sarah Michelle Gellar back in some fashion. Julie and Ray returning, I would say, is enough for me. But Helen can always have a cameo in a what-if type of angle. You know, you brought back Skeet for Scream 5. Does not to say that that's a, a reason to bring back Helen for this sequel. I'm just saying, you can always find a way to bring back Helen Shivers. Because I know that's going to be a very big component that a lot of diehard, I know what you did last summer, fans will want to see is Helen Shivers acknowledged in some capacity even if Sarah Michelle Gellar doesn't return for a cameo she could at least just be referenced in a very honorable way now the new or what I want to say was that I I do think that if they were to take this series in the direction of a direct sequel to I still know what you did last summer and ignore I'll always know what you did last summer they are doing the right thing nobody likes that third movie the third movie honestly is the worst out of the three the short-lived tv show while I did think it had some redeeming qualities I'm certain that what we're about to get with this upcoming movie will blow that out of the water I'm just very intrigued to see how you will bring this back once more after it's been so long since the well, the truest sequel, which came out in 1998, I, I believe is the last time the truest sequel came out. I think I still know what you thought summer came out in 98. So I am very intrigued to see what they bring to the table in this upcoming movie and how it ties into the first two installments, if at any. Or if at all, I meant to say. Now, I need to jump into Scream 6. The new TV spot for Scream 6 that was released, or an unlisted spot that was released on Twitter, and apparently this is popping up on a lot of people's ads on YouTube as well. The new TV spot for Scream 6 has garnered a lot of new theories related to the footage. For one, it seems that we now have our couples all but confirmed because a clear pairing for Chad and Mindy is highlighted in this new footage. During this footage, Mindy is shown with Anika, and Chad is shown with Tara. They're, they're all four standing together with pairings clearly being identified when you see who they're attached to, indicating that they are in a relationship in some capacity and that something is going on there to make them grab on to each other the way they do. There's also a brief snippet or like a gif, I think, that has come out of Mindy and Tara, not Mindy and Tara, but Tara and Chad holding hands, which I, which I thought was pretty cute. I've already seen some negative backlash about these two dating. I don't see what the problem is. Although, yes, you want to say we didn't know much about them in Scream 5, I really don't see how that relates to them now dating in Scream 6. It's a new development that we can easily see fleshed out in Scream 6 and just grow to care about. That's my two cents on that. During another moment, we see Tara being pulled back by Sam while Tara is screaming at something. We are not shown what she's screaming at, though. Some of you have guessed that it's probably Chad being attacked and killed by Ghostface, relating it to that other footage we've seen in other TV spots of Chad fighting Ghostface. We also saw snippets of this in the trailer. But what if he survives? I mean, there's always a chance that he survives. It doesn't mean that just because he's getting attacked and being shown getting attacked in the trailer that he's going to die. I mean, if anything, considering that we saw him get attacked in the last movie's trailer and he ended up surviving, who's to say it doesn't happen here again? There's always a chance for that. Just keep that in mind. This does not guarantee that Chad is dying, especially just because Tara is screaming. Also, what could be going on is 
Chad could be in a scenario in which it's so dangerous to stay there and wait for him that Sam just recognizes that and decides to get her and her sister out of there. And that's why she's dragging her away. Other bits of footage seem to further back up that Quinn Bailey, who is Detective Bailey's daughter, played by Leona Liberato, will bite it very on very very early on in the movie and it might even occur before the bathroom kill the bathroom kill as well as quinn's death might all take place in that same time frame she could die first and then we ultimately end up going into that bathroom sequence where characters are said to possibly have themselves stalked by ghostface and of course going off of the trailer ghostface must ultimately break in which causes them to go across the ladder to some other location it seems that sam is at but somebody's not going to make it across we also see samara weaving's character of lore standing on or standing in some type of garage location or warehouse but i got vibes of a garage and it's just not looking good for her she's on the phone some people think they have the opening figured out and that it must be her in the opening because she's not shown in any other major footage that we've seen in the trailer and in these now recent tv spots we don't see her wearing con wearing uh multiple clothing pieces like we do with the other characters so she must be dying very early on she's either ghostface and opening kill or fake out opening who reappears as ghostface later we get to hear the hello gale line there in this new spot and i love the sound of that it's already iconic and just so refreshing to hear we also see sam swinging a book at the killer obviously in some type of self-defense and Kirby is shown interacting with Moroni's character. We also get another glance of Ghostface just arriving at this door and raising his head like we've seen countless times in the other bits of footage. But I thought that the TV spots that we have gotten so far have been more or less just expansions on things we already knew was going to happen in the movie or just some other tidbits that we saw in the trailer but now we're seeing them from alternate perspectives some people think that this is what they're going to show at the Super Bowl if this is what they show at the Super Bowl then so be it I mean the most important thing is not really that we get new footage I would love the new footage but the most important thing I'm excited about at the Super Bowl is to see what the reaction is online and how this helps boost anything related to ticket sales because the official admins already chimed in to confirm what i put out last week to you guys the tickets go on sale this week so i'm interested to see after this super bowl ad whatever it is they show how this garners more tickets for the upcoming movie and how much it helps it trend on twitter and instagram tiktok all this other attention that it could get because of the super bowl spot you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video